if you are looking for a way to spend a summer Saturday and teach your kids a thing or two, look no further. Cody's standing by with more on the Sacramento Festival that's combining Mexican folklore and fun for all ages. Good morning. Absolutely. This is going to be a good time. It's Wendy. Everyone it's Wendy. 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 Wendy's here. <laughs> Wendy, who'd you bring with you? You know, I have my friend Pedro over here straight from uh, Oaxaca. Oaxaca, okay. Yes, he's visiting and he's making alebrijes. Oh. Now, that's probably a word that you're not familiar with, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I guarantee you, you've seen these characters. Can you take a guess? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing there was a movie out recently oh, that yes, was beautiful. It's Coco, to me. right? It's to me. Coco. Yeah. Yes. These are beautiful. Yeah. You might have seen these in Coco. They're alebrijes. And my friend right over here is going to tell us a little bit more about these characters. They're mystical characters. Yes, yeah, so one of the things we wanted to do is here in Sacramento, we have a cultural exchange program mm. with. Oaxaca City, Oaxaca, Mexico. Uh -huh. And um, this is a, a, a region of Mexico that is just very alive with the indigenous art and culture. And what we wanted to do was share some of this indigenous art and culture with Sacramento. So what we did is we kicked off last week on Thursday our Celebrate Oaxaca Week. Uh -huh. And so every day since last Thursday, we've had a, a, an event all throughout the Sacramento region just showcasing the art and doing workshops with the art. Cool. And so on Saturday, finally, we have our great celebration. Uh, it's on 1101 R Street, and it's Celebrate Oaxaca in front of a Casa de Español. And then there you have a chance to, to see all of this artwork, the, the alebrijes, the embroidery work. And as Wendy was mentioning, the, the alebrijes, these creatures or these, uh, this craft is indigenous folklore. Um, that has kind of almost been lost in the culture of Mexico. And this family, the Mendoza family, is three generations of keeping this folklore alive. And very cool. And this indigenous culture, not just the, the alebrijes, is all very much alive still. Now, I, I'm, I'm listening to you, but I'm staring at your <laughs> shirt, man. I'm telling you, I would wear that every we day. We have to get yeah. one for you. It is yeah. gorgeous, yeah. man. Yes. It's gorgeous. Yes. And, and you know, the, the reason we started making these shirts is because most of the women in the Oaxaca region, um, Frida Kahlo, mm -hmm. right? Oh, yeah. The Tehuantepec style of dresses, mm -hmm. Lila Downs also. Um, we know that most of the women wear these traditional outfits that incorporate a lot of the flower embroidery. Okay. But the men yeah. is just very um, linen and, uh -huh. and just very simple cloth. So one of uh, the founding members of the cooperatives that we work with, Casa de, de, um, de Artesanías de Oaxaca, said, we have to incorporate these beautiful flowers into men's outfits. And so we started incorporating <laughs> these. And so these will be there on Saturday. I, Come and get yours on Saturday. You know I am. You know me. When, <laughs> it's you know. going to be a fun event for the whole family. What time does it start? To the young at heart, 3 p.m. Uh -huh. to 8 p.m. And you're in time to get your tickets at pre-sale price. Oh, okay. So this is good news. Get your tickets today. $8 for adults, $5 for kids. But you can also buy them tomorrow if you didn't get a chance, but it's going to be a little bit more money. But be sure to come out. There's going to be lots of food, which we're going to talk about a little later in the show. And also a lot of arts, crafts, music, of course. Yes. And let's not forget drinks. Yes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> okay, we'll talk more. We'll, we'll do that. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. And those are amazing. Yeah. It's so colorful and bright. And, the, and like that panther looks like it's about How to long do you think it'll take you to make one of these? I would say if I started now, uh, 400 years from now, I think I'd be done. There's so much detail of that. It's beautiful. <laughs> All right, we'll talk food uh, coming up at the festival, and then uh, there's lots of parades too. And you know, I love a good parade. Love right. a good parade. Felisa, back to you. Okay, thanks so much.